Deuteronomy chapter 17. My English is very bad, I'm sorry. Okay, let's go. Deuteronomy chapter 17. Thou shalt not sacrifice unto the Lord the God, and bullock, a bullock, a bullock, or sheep, shepherd sheep, wearing in his blemish, or any evil favor redness, for that is an abomination unto the Lord the God. If there be found among you within any of the gates, which the Lord the God giveth the man or woman that hath wrought weakness in the sin of the Lord the God is transgressing his covenant and hath gone and served all the gods and worshipped then whether the sun or moon or any of the hosts of heaven which I have not commanded, and it be told thee, and thou hast heard of it, and inquired it diligently, and behold, it be true, and the thing certain, that such abomination is rogue in Israel, then shalt not bring forth that man or that woman, which have Commented that wicked thing unto the gates, even that man or that woman, and shall stun them with stones till they die at the mount of two witness, witnesses of three. Witness shall he that is worthy of death be put to death but at the mount of own witness he shall not be put to death the hands of the witness shall be first upon him to put him to death and afterward the hands of all the people so thou shalt put the evil away from among you if there arise a man to hard for thee in judgment between blood and blood, between player and player, and between stroke and stroke being matters of controversy within the gates. Then shalt thou arise and get thee up unto the place which the Lord the God shall choose. And thou shalt come unto the priests, the Levites, and unto the judges judge that shall be in those days and inquire and they shall show the the sentence of the judgment and thou shalt do according to the sentence which they of that place which of the lord shall choose shall show thee and thou shalt observe to according to all that they inform According to the sentence of the law which they shall teach thee, and according to the judgment which they shall tell thee, thou shalt do, thou shalt not decline from the sentence which they shall show thee, to the right hand nor to the left. And the man that will do presupposedly lie and will not hearken unto the priest that standeth to minister there before the Lord God or unto the judgment judge even that man shall die and thou shalt put away the evil from Israel and all the people shall hear and fear and do no more presupposedly Closely. Then when thou art come to the land which the Lord the God giveth thee, and shall possess it, and shall dwell therein, and shall say, 
I will set a king over me, like as all the nations that are about me. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord God shall choose. On from among the Bethlehem shall thou set king over thee, thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not the brother. But he shall not multiply horses to himself, nor cause the people to return to Egypt, 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 to the end that he should multiply horses, for as much as the Lord had said unto you, ye shall henceforth return no more that way, neither shall he multiply wives to himself, that his heart turn not away, neither shall he great multiply to himself silver and gold, and it shall be when he seated upon the throne of his kingdom, that he shall write in a copy of this law in the book out of that which is before the priest the Levites, and it shall be with him, and he shall read therein all the days of his life, that he may learn to fear the Lord his God, to keep all the words of the law and the statutes to do them, that his heart be not lifted up above his better him, and that he turn not aside from the commandment to the right hand, or to the left, to the end that he may prolong his days in his kingdom, he and his children, in the midst of Israel. Next chapter, chapter 18, the book of Deuteronomy. My English is very bad, I'm sorry. Okay, God bless you and your family. Have a great, wonderful, blessed, happy day in the presence of the Almighty Lord Jesus Christ. See you later. Bye.